What are we doing? 30 seconds of burpees, 30 seconds of uh, squat jumps, 30 seconds of jumping jacks. That's the method to burn muscle, right? You guys want to build muscle and burn calories at the same time? Try these type of circuits. I'm just killing time waiting. I'm just killing time. This whole time. Play this at my funeral. I'm I'm swimming through fishing around for the truth. This is living proof. Now I'll swim, but I What's going on, YouTube? You're back with the praise. We're in Juniper Park today, and today I'm gonna be bringing you a full upper body calisthenic only circuit workout. So, as you guys know, I was on a cut for the last couple months where my calories ended around 2,600 on my low end, which is around mid June. We're just at the end of July now, and slowly I've been building my calories back up into more of a maintenance calorie. Uh, intake, right? So I was eating around 3,000 calories for the last two weeks, and uh, as you guys also know, my training has been a lot different, right? I've been doing a lot more high intensity, lower load training, meaning a lot more volume with less added load, not working with as much heavy weight, which in turn allows me to pump out more volume, working on more sarcoplasmic hypertrophy, which again is better for the joints, and I have a goal of increasing my overall pull up reps. So today we're going to be doing a full calisthenic body weight only circuit where we're combining strength based movements, endurance based exercises, and hypertrophy based movements. So all I have like always guys as of late is a 35 pound kettlebell. That's the max intensity I've pretty much been doing for all my pulling exercises. Not trying to stress the joint or the tendons with pull work because remember the muscles can get strong a lot faster than the tendons. So when I start going heavier and heavier loaded weighted pull ups that's where I start feeling more pain in the joints. So I've been keeping it moderate with the 35 pounds, allowing to pump out more reps, which in turn is going to help me hit that goal of increasing my overall bodyweight pull-up reps in the next two weeks. So, like I said, we're going to be combining strength, hypertrophy, and endurance base all into one circuit. Now, like I said, also I've been increasing my calories slowly, and now it's time for me to go into a slight surplus of calories. So being able to hit this circuit-based routine, which is going to in turn burn more calories through the exercise itself, I'm going to be able to utilize those, more, those extra calories more efficiently now. So starting this week, this is actually Sunday, so it's the start of a new cycle of eating for me. So I'm upping the calories now to around 3150 to 3200 on my training days, 3000 calories on my off days. So on my training days, I'm going to be eating slightly more. And again, I'm going to put that effort into my sessions as well. So more work, more higher volume sets and reps here. Again, it's going to increase the intensity without having it, without having it lift a ton of weight. So we got three exercises back to back to back, strength, endurance, and hypertrophy. Let's get it. All right, guys, so getting into the circuit this is the first round. Like I said, the first exercise is going to be strength skill work. We're going to be doing handstand press-ups to a 10-second full negative as deep as possible. So like I said, strength, hypertrophy, and endurance all in the whole round. So let's get to it. So exercise one, like I showed you, 10 second control negative. That's the strength based movement. Now we're gonna go on to weighted pull ups, 35 pounds, still sticking with the same weight, aiming for 12 to 15 reps. Let's go. <coughs> Remember, guys, we still have the overall goal of increasing our max pull-up reps, full range of motion, clean, chin over the bar, full lockout every rep. We're going to be retesting again in about two weeks from now. It's the end of July now. We started the challenge July 3rd. That was when I first tested. So two weeks into August, we're going to get to that. Let's go. reps on the weighted pulls. Now we got our endurance set. We're going straight to the push-up bar. 
So it's shoulders, back, chest, full upper body circuit. We got 30 reps here, guys. So, it's one round down. Listen, you gotta manage the intensity. I've told you this numerous times. The handstand press up, very strength demanding, as well as very central nervous system demanding. It's a skill. That controlled negative, remember the negatives where you take on the most load, negatives cause the most muscle damage. So to be able to control that 10 second negative, you're gonna be very neurologically demanding, as well as going to cause a lot of strength adaptations, right? Right from there, going into the weighted pulls, obviously you're already going to be pre-fatigued just from exhausting all your energy towards that handstand. So the second exercise is just being number two in the routine has a drop, makes the intensity harder. 35 pound pulls, usually I should get 15 because the handstand is so challenging is, and it fries the nervous system, I was only going to hit 12 reps. Then going to these pushes, you're really pumping up a whole lot of blood to your upper body. 30 reps, clean, full range of motion, not trying to pump them out. Really building that volume up and tapping into all three exercise modalities. Strength, hypertrophy, and endurance. You guys see, this type of routine is going to dramatically increase the heart rate. So if you guys are pressed for time and you need to get more work done, try these routines, right? They're going to burn more calories in general as well. So it's going to give you a conditioning effect. And again, it's going to build up your work capacity. All excellent uh, tools that you guys can utilize when looking to improve your overall physique as well. So one set down. In between my set, my pops is going to go. You're going to see him next. Let's get it. All right, guys. And look who we got up here in New York. My, got my pops up visiting from Florida. You guys seen the last video we filmed down there. The progress he made doing weighted dips with me, weighted pulls. So we're in the park today. All body weight work today. We're both doing circuits. In between my set is his set. Is his set. So we're getting about two minute breaks. And if I need longer after his set, I'll take longer. He's doing a strength based circuit too. Also mixed with hypertrophy and more endurance training as well. So he's starting with dip holds in the 90 degree position. Really working that eccentric also. Let's get it. Beautiful. Right there. Nine, eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, two, lock it out. Beautiful. Right down. Right to the pull, right to the pull-up bar. My pops is hitting three bar neutral grip. Isometric holds, chin over the bar. Aiming for 10 second holds on top here. Pull. Pull, hold that. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. Four, three, two, down. Nice. Let's go right to the pushes. He had a little trouble getting up there. The bars in Florida aren't that high. He's not used to jumping anymore to get on the bar. Let's go. He's got 15 pushes. Let's go. 15 straight, Pops. Let's get it. Easy work here. Let's go. Breathe. Good. Perfect form. One. Good money. Two. Good. Three. Clean. Four. Five, breathe, let's go. Let's go, see? Just that added intensity of doing these in a circuit fashion brings that intensity to the exercise, makes each exercise harder. Let's go. Nine. Let's go, six more, one at a time. Ten, let's go. One. Two, let's go. Let's go. Last one, best one. There we go. I don't know. Where is it harder to train? Is it hotter here or hotter in Florida right now? Hotter here. There we go. The humidity up here hits different. No no wind, no breeze. Look at that. Look at that pump though. Look at that vascularity. 870. There we go. Only getting stronger and better with age. Alright guys, round two.
And look, guys, if you guys are looking to build strength in your handstand, press up, or any movement for that matter, practicing negatives is going to really benefit you in that matter. It's going to take your strength to the next level, especially when you work pose. full range of motion. We gotta match that 12. By the time you get to these pushes, the body has been under a ton of full body tension. From that handstand negative to these controlled weighted pull-ups, everything's got to be tense. Now we just pump a lot of blood to the chest and shoulders. Let's go. Two rounds down, and my father's gonna do a set. That's gonna be my break period. May rest an extra one to two minutes after he's done, depending. Three more rounds, guys. Listen, this is how you really do effective high intensity interval training, you could call it, right? We're combining three minimum exercises in a circuit fashion, and we're completing them smart. Where we're combining strength, hypertrophy training, and endurance. Not no endurance, 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 endurance. Where we're doing 30 seconds of burpees, 30 seconds of uh, squat jumps, 30 seconds of jumping jacks. That's the method to burn muscle, right? You guys want to build muscle and burn calories at the same time? Try these type of circuits or high interval interset, high intensity interval training routines where you're really programming smart exercises in a smart progression of movements. Two sets down. Let's get this work. Let's go. Round three. I'm telling you, my whole upper body, just after those first two sets, is tight. It's lit right now. Let's go. Full control. Listen, you guys want to get better at a movement, learn to control the negative. That's going to build that mind muscle connection. That's going to teach your body where it wants to be in space. And you got to do lots of repetitions, guys. Thousands and thousands of them, especially when you want to learn a skill. Let's go, weighted pulls. I'll be two seconds. Let's go. All right, guys, for this push-up set and for the rest of the push-up set, I'm going to teach you guys a little trick, right? You're going to take a sip of water before you're set. You're going to hold that water in your mouth, and you're only going to breathe through the nose. What that's going to do is it's going to increase nitric oxide production, which helps blood flow to the muscles. It also helps filter in and out cleaner air, right? So... <laughs>
you don't have to hold the water in your mouth. That's just to ensure that you're not breathing in through your mouth, right? You could cheat, so breathe through your nose. And to be honest, it makes the reps a little easier, right? Like I said, increases nitric oxide production, which helps blood flow through the body better, especially to the working muscles. Three rounds down, my pops is actually around ahead of me, so he started it. So he's going on set four right now. I'll film his set four, and then you'll see my remaining four and five. Full circuit, upper body work, guys. Strength, endurance, and hypertrophy. You guys see crazy pump, heart rates up. You just have to train smart and hard. Let's go. All right, guys, it's my pops' is fourth set right now. Hold that. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, lock it. Money, let's go. Let's go, he's gonna jump up this time. Easy. Let's go. Three bar, easy. Let's go. Pull, up, up, hold that. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, all the way down. Good money. Let's go. Move that bottle. Let's go. 15 straight. Straight 15? Yes, go. Breathe. One, two, lower, three, lower. There, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, lower, 10, let's go. Five, lower, there it is, three, last two, two, one. See guys, look, as the sets go on, the exercises are gonna get harder and harder. That's the purpose of circuit training. That's how you add intensity to calisthenic movements, right? Combine a few movements, one after another, and typically you want to save which would be the easiest exercise for last, in this case obviously pushes, but even though it's last, it's still tough. Look at that pump round, look at his chest right now. Listen, look at him now, I'm gonna put up a clip right after this of him last year, less than a year ago, October 14th, 2021. You'll see the physique difference. And remember guys, he's been training in Florida, Dolo, just following my set routine that I made for him custom. So, a lot of progress guys, 70 years old. One more round. Yeah, Let's go guys, man. round four. All right, I want you guys to notice, this is a quick little handstand strength tip. Watch this press up. I'm pressing from 90 degrees once I first rotate my body. The higher you could keep your shoulders off that initial press up, meaning, you that initial angle is actually bigger, the easier the press up is. So if I have to press from a deeper range of motion initially, the rep is obviously going to be harder. So you want to keep your shoulders as high as possible before you transition into the press. Camera's on, right? Let's go. Sip of water. Camera died. I 
think. I think. Mm -mm. Alright guys, the fourth round down. I don't know if the camera's dying or not. Let's go, one more set. Alright guys, this is the fifth set. So the camera did start to overheat last set, but we caught the whole clip. So if it overheats again, just know it's the last round right now. Handstand press. Listen, I'm telling you, like I said before, on set four, I'm super fatigued. So let's see how good this press goes. Let's go. Listen, right there, you guys saw a struggle just on that press up, super tough, and that negative right there, I was really, really struggling just to control the negative down. I might have been faster than 10 seconds there. Let's go. Weighted pose, last set. So those pulls, extremely tough. Banged out those last two. Had to kip a little bit. Had to chase the chin. Listen, that's how you train, right? Training, not every rep is gonna be perfect, but you train to get better and better in the next session. Let's go. Sip of water, hold it in. Last 30. Yeah, but I'm telling you though, like on the trail, that's a leg workout. When you're done, once you're coming back down or you're done with the height, your legs are going All right, guys, that was five rounds, full upper body, circuit routine. We're training strength with the handstand press-ups, really focusing on that central nervous system, those neurological adaptations by controlling those negative reps. Remember, the negative is going to allow you to get that mind-muscle connection. It's going to allow you to feel where your body is in space. And again, when you start out, you might be able to do a one-second negative, two-second negative, but over time, the more and more you practice, the stronger and stronger you get, you're going to be able to control those negatives better and better. You're going to be able to work through specific range of motion, sticking points. That's the benefit of negative isometric work. All going to help you bust through plateaus in strength. Watch your back. Then we went on weighted pull-ups, five sets, 12 reps each set, full lockout, no jumping, no jerking, really trying to control each repetition full chin over the bar every rep, then right into 30 body weight pushes, nothing too extravagant, but doing it as a third exercise in the circuit, especially after hitting those handstand presses, your whole body, like I said, the whole body is tense by the time you get off that pull-up bar, so the push-ups are just a bonus to pump more blood into the body, give you that sarcoplasmic, that pump look, and again, help you build endurance, then if you can do it, when you're holding water in your mouth, Again, learning to breathe through your nose is going to help you increase that nitric oxide production, help build up your endurance, better blood flow through the body into the working muscles. So five rounds done. Work to your level. You guys can't do handstand push-ups yet? Just do for exercise one, freestanding handstand holds for time. You can't do weighted pulls, do body weight pulls where you're going to fall in that 8 to 15 rep range. If you could do 15 reps body weight, then you can add 5 pounds 
Make your body weight harder just so I start by adding five pounds. If you have to, if that's too easy, go to 10 pounds. But keep the reps in that eight to 15 rep range so you stay in that hypertrophy zone. And then for the third exercise, keep it the easiest in the pattern. But just because it's the third exercise, it's gonna be hard regardless. That's when you wanna go 20 plus reps a clip. Five rounds done, guys. You guys saw my pops' routine also. Strength, hypertrophy, and more endurance work for him as well. So, hope you guys enjoy this routine. Like the video, helps the algorithm out. Share it with your friends, your family. Hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed yet. If you have a question, comment, like always guys, leave it in the comment section. I always get back to you guys. Peace out. Bar Naturals. No sad story, I ain't here for a symphony, no sympathy. When I was on the bench, you wouldn't sit with me. Now I'm on the court and I'm balling, my time's coming.